Hey, what's happening? It's Kimberly. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. Um, I'm going to jump right in. Um, hopefully some folks will join in soon because this one is actually pretty important. You would never guess what it takes or what, what your nails can tell about you and it's pretty shocking. So I'm excited to kind of roll through some of this stuff with you guys. So as you come in, I gotta grab my little cheat sheet. It just timed out my computer. So give me one second. All right, blessed, there we go. All right, hold on, sorry. Here we go, guys. Okay, so your nails are telling you a lot of stuff about you. So as people are rolling in, just give me one second and I promise I'll be right with you. Okay, here we go. All right, so. First thing, do you guys have moons on your finger? So like I'm talking about, you know, um, where you kind of see that half moon where it looks a little bit like that. That half moon is a huge indicator for you as to whether or not you have good circulation or what we, you know, kind of say in the Ayurvedic practice, whether you have fire in your gut. So that if the circulation is poor in the fingernail and the finger bed you won't actually see that going on so if you have a lot of times cold hands um you'll find that so if you have if you look at your fingers you don't have polish on or fake nails or anything like that and you don't see that half moon that could be an indicator that your circulation within your body is not as um stimulated as need be so it could be a, a kind of like a signal of digestive issues so make sure that even if you maybe start drinking some ginger tea and like firing that up if you are someone who is already hot so like ginger kind of makes you agitated or irritated you might want to go with licorice tea it kind of does some of the same stuff there so that's one thing that you're going to want to really think about um is looking for those like half moon circles if you don't have them on all of your fingers it's okay but making sure that you have them on some um white spots all right so like those little like white spots on your finger is usually a deficiency in magnesium and zinc all right, so magnesium and zinc. And most times people are deficient in magnesium. So you can drink something like Calm or a magnesium tea that other places make um, that can help that. But zinc is another one that's a little bit harder to get. So you might wanna get a supplement that has zinc in it to increase that. And those, those little white spots should go away. Vertical lines are usually an indication of malabsorption of minerals. So that is an issue a lot of times also with your digestion. So uh, once again, firing up the digestive process and not having low stomach acid, being able to get minerals in. So taking things like mineral essence from Young Living is one of the things that I tell people, although this stuff is horrible, but it's so good for you. Um, or a really, really good multivitamin that can increase that but you want to think about also digestive enzymes that help to break down the food so you're actually getting the minerals into the body all right so that is one thing that's huge um, that you're going to want to think about the vertical lines can also show an issue with like a thyroid issue as well so hey Reginald it's good to see you um, so one it can also be an indication of a thyroid issue um, it can be it can show um, gut dysbiosis which just means it's a big fancy word for like your guts kind of off and you need to um, start working on that so taking doing things like gut check 21 and learning how to clean up your diet and doing things like that is really important um, it can also be an indication of heavy metals in the in the um, the body so um, if you need help understanding what's going on you know you can always reach out to me I do testing for people saliva swabs and um, DNA like hair tests that can actually Actually show what's going on in your body and what you need um, so that's something you can reach out and figure that out but that's if you have those vertical lines going down horizontal lines now if you have horizontal lines going across um, I'm gonna tell you right now seek a like medical help because that is usually a sign of a serious viral infection it can also be a sign of a, like getting close to a heart attack and um, like severe fever following all that kind of stuff so really like if you said if you're starting to see vertical line not excuse me horizontal lines going across this way um, I would tell you to see an integrative doctor and someone who kind of knows what they're doing but that's just your body's way of telling you that something is going on all right so you have that horizontal lines so the next one pale nails like so really really um, pale uh, whitish kind of fingernails not not healthy and pink that kind of thing um, those are usually signs of anemia 
um, or a B12 deficiency. So someone who might be vegan is not getting enough B12 because you can only get that from animal products or from nutritional yeast, um, things like that, or a supplement. Um, or it could be a blood deficiency can be manifesting. So just know that. And so some of the things that people don't understand with like a blood deficiency can be dry eyes, blurred vision, floaters in the eyes can happen, pale complexion, um, insomnia, which a lot of people suffer for, dizziness, uh, history of heavy periods or really like spotty periods. It's kind of weird. It's a, it's a balance of those two. Um, mental fatigue, dizziness, and like dry skin. So those are some things to think about um, as you're going through with, with that. Um, there's so much to be seen and heard or known about this that I am going to post an article on my business page called Do All Things With Joy. So follow me over there and I'm gonna post a picture and I'm gonna also post an article about what your nails are telling you. Um, the other thing I wanna go over is I have another quick thing. If you see like, I don't know, almost like it's like your fingernails are pitted and yellow, that's usually an indication of a fungus. You can get rid of that with some um, oregano essential oil, some pure grade, like I told you, I know you guys know I use um, Young Living oils, but that you can do. If you have like a white arc, going across your fingernails, that can be a sign of kidneys, all right, that your, your kidneys are kind of off. If you have like flat nails, like really, really flat nails that just like when you look at it, it, it just looks like it's a, it's kind of like pushed down. And this is where you'll see the pictures, which is gonna be a real good visual for you. That's usually stomach issues, okay? Um, if you have a long, long nail that's like very, very, like just, just a really long nail, sometimes they say that that can be an indication of skeletal issues or things that you have going on with your, the structure of your body. Um, high, like domed, like if you like if you look at your fingernail and you see like a really high ridge dome, that can be something about kidney issues. And um, if you have, like I said, those vertical splinting nails, that can be your adrenals. So if it really is like starting to, like those vertical lines that are starting, that's a stress factor that your adrenals are really, really tapped. Um, dark band, like right after your, your fingernail where it is, um, usually is a liver indicator that something might be going on. Um, Red and white like stipe could be liver as well, so just know that. And then one other, if you have like a, like a clubbed nail, like where it's like kind of bent over top, that's usually respiratory in nature. Short and wide, like I don't know if you've ever seen people that have really short nails and then they're really wide, that can be an indication of some things going on with your heart. Um, if you have black lines in your nails, that can be an indication of internal bleeding, so be careful there. And then horizontal ridges, like kind of that go up and down, like that kind of thing is a stress-related thing, um, but not necessarily like horizontal cracks like I was talking to you about before, but like ridges can be stress. And then um, the only other one that we had was uh, like, if you have like a, you know like when you're, the end of your nail where the white usually is, it almost looks like a pearl. Um, like it's just, it's just weird. I've, I've seen it in some people, I haven't ever had it, but that's usually a sign of arthritis. So I'm probably sure if you saw someone who had arthritis and you were looking at their fingernails and they had longer fingernails, you would see that pearling effect. Um, I had it saw it in my grandmother um, at times when I would paint her fingernails as she before she passed away. So a really healthy nail has um, you know enough pink. Um, you have that moon shape that's kind of going on in there. It's just really vibrant. Um, a lot of times people will do things to damage their nails using polish and artificial nails and all that for the ladies and stuff like that. I tend not to polish my nails very much and if I do it's clear because um, I want to see what my nails are telling me about my health. So if you cover them up and you don't know what's going on that can be something that um, can be detrimental in the long run. So I hope this was helpful. It might have been a little bit longer for those who usually come in with me but if you have any questions whatsoever let me know. Um, but what I will do is I will post those two articles and if anyone is interested, whether you live near me or not in some of the testing that I can do for you guys, I will get you hooked up with that so that you can find out some of the things that are going on. And one of the indicators that was really interesting um, when I had my testing done that uh, they, they ended up saying I had something going on and my nails were telling me like the, the the connection between the two so it was pretty interesting so i will tell you guys oh really quick one thing that i forgot if you have like puffy um i don't know like you know how when you're like your nail bed right right where it starts if you look at it and you see a lot of like areas where it's really puffy and it's almost like it would be not infected but like you're like why is it so puffy there that's actually a sign of parasites now people are like oh my gosh most people have parasites 
we like treat our dogs for parasites all the time, but we never treat ourselves for parasites. And there's things that you can do to eliminate that as well. So don't get all scared and, and run off and say, oh my gosh. Um, but it, it can be an indicator if you notice that it's kind of puffy right there where your nail um, starts and your, and your skin begins. All right, or your skin ends and your nail starts. So I don't see any questions. I see a lot of people watching. So hey, hey, Felicia, you're the last person I saw. And hey, hey, Tracy Nacito, if you're still on. Um, I think I see Auntie Roz on there and some others. And Reginald, thank you guys for coming on. Um, so let me know if you have any questions whatsoever in the comment section. Remember to share the joy. That means hit the share button and let other people know about this. Um, please, please, please. Hey, Felicia, yay. Um, please do me a favor and... If you have a, a gift you want to give someone, purchase my book for a friend, for yourself. Um, it's all about 52 Weeks to Abundant Health. I am here as your coach to guide you along. And hopefully, you know, my mission is to get people healthy so that they can live with passion and purpose and not pass out in the process because they're so tired. But check your nails, y'all. Make sure they're telling you good things about yourself. And if not, if something's going on, then this is a great way to figure out what can I do naturally to get to the root of the problem so that my nails start reflecting my beautiful health. All right, peace and blessings. Love you guys. Remember to share this out. Hit the share button, tell people about it. You know, sometimes even hitting the share button and writing a little comment, somebody's more apt to, uh, to listen to you. All right, so I love you much. I'll talk to you guys later. Thumbs up to everybody and um, I'll see you next week. If you have ideas, let me know as well. Like if you're like, you know what, Kim, can you talk about X, Y, and Z? I'm on it. All right, bye.